Uh, crime alert now at five. Shattered glass and stolen valuables. Another weekend brings another rash of car break-ins at two of the area's newest, in, newest entertainment venues. Thieves busted out and stole items from around 10 cars at two of the hottest new venues in Midtown. It's become a reoccurring problem on the weekends. And then on Saturday, the thieves actually shot at police before speeding away. The car break-ins happened at the Foundry near Forest Park in Van Deventer and then just south of there at the St. Louis Armory on Market Street. Russell Kinsall is finding out what is being done to stop these thieves. Yeah, right now I'm in Midtown. Over my shoulder you can see City Foundry STL. The armory is almost literally straight to the south over my left shoulder on the south side of I-6440, literally 100 feet, several hundred feet south of the foundry. So thieves apparently are targeting these two venues on the weekends, and uh, these crimes that they're committing have the risk of chasing away customers, scaring them away before these two venues can get fully established. Busted. Busted. You stupid A frustrated victim recorded these car windows busted by thieves recently at the City Foundry STL. I know this happens, but you, you wouldn't think that being gone for one hour that you know your car would be busted into and, and your stuff would be stolen. Danny, who asked us not to use his last name, met friends Friday night at the Armory STL and got a shock when he came out. Opened my car door up and I looked across and the passenger window was, was completely busted. Operators of the Armory say they've installed metal detectors, lighting and fencing. There's a police department security camera in the parking lot and an armed officer on duty. I guess the cop said he was taking a, a restroom break, was gone for five minutes and was shocked to see what had happened in the meantime. Thieves have targeted cars in the Foundry's parking lot several times, but Sarah McHale hasn't been one of the victims. I haven't noticed any problems here. I've been here multiple times. The rash of car break-ins might scare away some customers, but not Illinois resident Cassie Cantrell. We just have to live um, our lives and hope that nothing bad happens and be careful and um, take steps to be cautious. But no, I'm not going to stop eating somewhere because something bad might have happened once. Sarah McHale also lives in Illinois. She says stealing from cars can happen anywhere. Something to be aware of, make sure your car is locked and just keep stuff out of sight. Danny lives in St. Louis and despite being the victim of a crime, he plans to visit these new venues in the future. No, I'll be back um, to that area. Um, I'll probably Uber next time I go. I reached out to the Foundry and got this statement from Will Smith with City Foundry STL. Since Saturday night, we have been in contact with city leaders, the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department, and our security firm to evaluate our security protocols. While this was an isolated incident, we will continue to work with local police and our security firm to implement best security practices for our visitors and guests. St. Louis police say they are still investigating these crimes and have not announced any arrests in these crimes. Just to reiterate the advice that police always give, make sure that you lock your cars, take your keys and the key fob, and don't leave any valuables in them. Corey, that's always good advice to follow. Absolutely. Hopefully they can figure these things out because we want these venues to succeed and really grow here in St. Louis. So uh, definitely frustrating. I hear you, Russell. Thank Absolutely. you.